Here is a biblical inconsistency that's going to grow the more you stare at it. Oh, interesting. I wonder how this is going to challenge my faith. In the New Testament and Christianity, there's this doctrine that God and Jesus belong to the whole world. Oh yes, it started with Judaism, but this new covenant means that everyone in the world needs to be saved. I remember sermons when I was a Christian that said even before Jesus incarnated and died, the way to become saved is the same. Believe in him, that he is coming, that he is going to save the world. The problem is, the Jewish God did not give two shits about anyone except the Israelites. Well, that's certainly not true, and here are all of the verses that completely contradict that statement, but you bring up an example, so let's deal with it. Let's take the story of Moses as an example. When he was getting his people out of slavery, did he give Pharaoh and the Egyptians the option of turning their lives over to God and becoming an Israelite? Hell no. Mm, that's more of a misrepresentation of what happened. It seems that there were some Egyptians who actually left with the Israelites, suggesting that something happened. It's because when they left Egypt, they were a mixed multitude. Not to mention, Pharaoh and people had numerous chances to listen to what the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had to say, and they didn't. So if God's true concern is saving the entire world, why wasn't the Old Testament about that? I'll answer that for you. Because that wasn't yad heh vav -Heh's goal in the Tanakh. His goal was his people, the Jews. While Yahweh's portion is his chosen people, Israel, it is quite clear that Israel was supposed to be the light to the Gentile 